Florida Oracle playing host to the Houston Rockets game three of the Western Conference Finals. Time to get into some basketball talk. No place to start that that can be better than with the Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Take it away. Well, EJ, the three days off that both teams have had have allowed them to work on defense and work on other things, but it's also meant three days of speculation about Steph Curry's knee. Now, he missed five weeks, as you know, at the end of the regular season, the first round of the playoffs after grade two sprain of his MCL. He insists that his knee is fine, that there is no physical problem, but Everybody in the Bay is wondering why is he 2 or 13 from three point range? Why is he missing so many open shots? He says it's just a matter of getting back to a familiar setting and getting back to business. So there's nothing that anybody can ask me or tell me that I'm not already thinking about myself when it comes to how I'm playing, what I need to do better. Uh, the consistent thing is I'll never lose confidence in myself when, I, when I'm out there on the floor. It's why I shoot the shots that I do. It's why I play the way that I play. But uh, beyond that, it's part of the game. I mean, I have high expectations for myself, and I know I've set lofty goals when it comes to shooting the basketball. Now, St now Steve Kerr says that he doesn't think there's anything wrong with Steph's offense that can't be solved by Golden State playing better on defense. They believe that the turnovers and the quick shots that they shot in game two allow Houston to set up their defense, making it more difficult for Curry to get himself going. But EJ, you can expect the Warriors to try to get Curry going early tonight in game three. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, David Aldridge. Uh, Curry averaging 22, six and five in the postseason, 17, seven and eight in this series. And again, shooting 44% and two for 13 from deep. So um, Steve Kerr said, hey, look, we got our butts kicked in game two. Houston put us on our heel, put them on our heels and and took control of that game. What do you expect to see with the change of venue here to Oakland for game three, Shaq? Well, the fact about great players and Steph Curry, great players don't allow you to make excuses for them. So we're not going to make excuses for Steph Curry. I've never I've never been a great shooter, but I've been around great shooters. And you have moments like this. Sometimes you're off, sometimes you're on. You can't expect the kid to, to, to shoot 90% all the time. However, he's home now, had a, a, a with his family. We also, as great players, we like to look our loved ones in the face and not really want to let them down. I expect them to have a great game tonight. I'm not going to talk him out of, you know, talk him out of playing great. You're not going to criticize him and beat him up. He's never going to get down on himself. He probably lives for moments like this because he's, you know, to, deserves to be called the best shooter in the game and he'll be fine right now he's just off a little bit but I don't think he's hurt in tonight to see which rocket team shows up the team that gets those role players involved because I actually think the Rockets got more offensive players uh, than the Warriors do when they get Trevor Eric uh, and, and the PJ involved I mean Chris obviously Chris and James are their two best players so you master it up you got KD Steph and Clay. But I also think those Rockets players are better offensive players than anybody they have on the Warriors team. So if the Rockets can use the game plan they used in game two. So no longer they lose in three. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, if they revert back to the way they played in game one and just play one-on-one -on -one the whole game, they're not going to beat the Warriors like that. But think about it. When you watch the Warriors play, they got three offensive juggernauts. Let's say hypothetically, they all get 30. That's only 90 points. But with the Warriors, with the Rockets, James is capable of getting 30. Chris is capable of getting 30. But PJ, Trevor, and Eric are the three best offensive players after those three guys. Think about that. Uh, so if those, if the Rockets get those guys involved, get a faster pace, don't go deep into the shot clock, they're going to have a great chance to win this game. Will that, will that style from game two travel here for game three, Kenny? Well, yeah, that, that's the most interesting question in the, in the world. But I think even though it will travel, it's still something that Golden State does well. So regardless of how well you play, that is still the and, style that and goes I, to I hate to interrupt you while you're doing this, yeah. but what do you make of these numbers? Nothing. Same, basically the same number of ISOs that they ran. Ernie, you can't just go by the stat. That's why I, I hate I, I know the what numbers. I'm no, 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 no. I know I'm making saying. a point, though. Yeah. Because 
in game one, yeah, I, I, Trevor Arisa, Eric Gordon, and P.J. Tucker touch the ball. did not touch the ball and score over 20 points. They did in game two. That's why, you know, people think I don't like analytics. I think analytics are fine, but I don't think you can just look at numbers because anybody who look at game one and game two of that Rocket series, don't think those were two totally different games. They're idiots. Well, now, now that, to continue that, that, your answer. Yeah, but I mean, if you look at that, that was a great stat because I, I looked at it and said, yeah, but the isolations came off of pick and roll in game one. Isolations came off of pushing the ball up early in the shot clock and going and getting into the paint to penetrate and then find someone. Exactly. Where before they pen they in game one, isolation yeah, isolate game to score. Isolate the score. They didn't isolate the pass the basketball to score. So it was a different field. So more multiple people touched the basketball and everyone got involved and it became early in the shot clock. But that's still what Golden State does. So you're still gonna have to play extremely well to do that. I just think that Golden State assembled as they have the best three shooters in basketball history and they're on one team. That to me, the way this game is going to be played benefits them. You know, Houston has the ability, again, you know, we're all questioning which team is going to show up today. If they withstand this crowd and, you, you, you know, the way Golden State comes out, they'll have a chance. But again, we don't know which team is going to show up. I would like to see the team in game two so we see a competitive series. If not, they're going to get blown out the building today. And I, I, think, Steph will I, think what, be off today. I think what Shaq said is very important. The Rockets have to get off to a great start because this might be the best home court in the NBA and you're not going to play well from behind here. They've won 15 in a row in the postseason in this building. That's tied with the Chicago Bulls for the all-time record. They'll try to break it tonight.